Paul Napsulka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 21st question from Digital SAT Test 4 Module 2. It's from the hardest side of math questions. Number 21 reads, two identical rectangular prisms have a height of 90 centimeters. centimeters. The base of each prism is a square and the surface area of each prism is k centimeters squared. If the prisms are glued together along the square base, the resulting prism has a surface area of 92 over 47 k centimeters squared. What is the side length in centimeters of the square base? So the first thing you gotta know is that the formula for area, for uh, surface area, is two times length times width plus length times height plus width times height. And there's logic behind this, but this is a long problem. So I'm gonna cut out the details, know that formula. If you were to plug in, since both the length and the width are x, it'd be 90x plus 90x plus x times x, and then you're going to double that. And once you double that, you get 2 times 180x plus x squared. Um, <clears throat> and then when you distribute the two, you wind up with 360x plus 2x squared, which is the surface area of one side, which we already mentioned is k. Okay, so... If I double that, then I'm going to get the surface area of both of those rectangular prisms, 720x plus 4x squared. Now, each, each square side has an area of x squared. So if you glued those two square bases together, you'd lose the surface area of each of those two square bases. So we'd have to subtract out that 2x squared, so we'd get 720x plus 4x squared minus 2x squared, the surface area of the two, uh, the two prisms once they're glued. And then when you do the 4x squared minus 2x squared, you get 2x squared. So this is the surface area of the two prisms after they're glued. And it also tells us that that surface area is 92 over 47k centimeters squared. So I set it equal to that. <clears throat> and... Now, what I've got to do is I've got to, what is that K? We, we have that K up here. It's 360X plus 2X squared. And so I put that in place of the K right here. So I've got my 360X plus 2X squared. And then what I did was I factored out, I looked at both sides of this equation and I said, hey, what's in common between this 360x and the 2x squared, the 720x and the 2x squared. And 2x is common to both. If I take those out of both sides, I could divide both sides by 2x. What I'm left with is 92 over 47. And then in the parentheses, 180 plus x. In the parentheses on the other side, 360 plus x. And so now what do you do? You could distribute and you get this crazy fraction here. Um, and then it equals 360 plus x. So the one important thing here is, look at your answer choices, they're all whole numbers. It's very easy for you to lose confidence when you're like right at the end of the problem, like I actually did yesterday, and say, hey, um, maybe there's a, maybe I did something wrong. But stay the course. If, now, if I wind up combining like terms over here, my numbers, 16,560 divided by 47, if you subtract that from 360, you can throw that into your Desmos calculator or into your regular calculator. I threw it into Desmos over here, and you get 352.34, blah, 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 blah. And I rounded off a little bit. I just made it 7.66. When you subtract that crazy fraction, 60,560.4 uh, over 47, which is 352. Blah, 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 blah. If you subtract it from 360, you get 7.66. And now, what do I gotta do? I gotta get this x to the other side. So 92 over 47, I know we're mixing fractions and decimals, but that's the same as 47 over 47. If I subtract 47x over 47 from 92 over 47, I get 45x over 47 equals 0.766. Then you gotta multiply both sides by the reciprocal. You multiply 7.66 by 47 over 45, and I threw that into Desmos as well. And you get it here, 8.000, and then the fours keep going. 
And that's the question. Um, so your correct answer here is B. It's eight. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with this crazy question. If there's any questions you'd like to see answered from any PSAT, SAT, or ACT, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Check out our one minute video. By the way, in order to get this question correct, notice it's very time consuming. You would really have to have your time down on the other questions. You have to do all the other questions really efficiently in order to get this question correct because it takes so much time. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.